Good morning. Hi, I'm Sean Harden with Texas Open Door Realty, and I'm here with Mike Caps, the voice of the Round Rock Express. How are you? Doing? I'm doing great, Mike. Good, and, good, good. And we would like to just wish you guys a happy new year, and uh, thank you for joining us for this video this morning. And uh, not only is this the first video of the year, but this is the inaugural video, Mike, of, of for Texas Open Door Realty and, and what we're trying to do here in Round Rock. And well, I'm pretty nervous about that. I don't know if I can do that. Build the community. I, I imagine you have it and, and you'll do just fine. But uh, I'm thrilled to have Mike here this morning. Obviously, Mike's been a longtime friend of mine. And uh, Mike, one of the things I love about you has obviously been, you know, your passion for not only life, but, but just passion for what you do. Uh, is the voice of the Round Rock Express, and and, uh, and I know you're passionate about the Central Texas area and everything that it has to offer. Yep, no so, doubt, absolutely. So, so I'm going to ask you some questions this morning, absolutely. and, and let's, go. Um, let's go. Let's jump into it. What yeah. brought you to Central Texas? Well, obviously, the uh, the baseball team did. When uh, actually, I was hired in 1998 uh, at at the winter meetings. Uh, Jay Miller and Reed Ryan hired me, and I had the spend the 1999 season. I was living in New York City before I moved here. Okay. Um, and uh, so I was very familiar with the Central Texas area. My dad was a, was a University of Texas guy. Okay. A 15 year old pre-med freshman right before World War II. Wow. And so we came to Austin in this area a whole lot when I was a kid and then I played baseball against the Longhorns and against St. Edwards. So okay. I've had a, I've had a, a one of the places that always felt like home to me was Central Texas and in Austin. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, if you could, and I know this is a tough question, but what do you love most about the Central Texas area? Well, what's not to love it, it, it's, is more like it. I mean, first of all, it starts with the people. And uh, having been around and had, had a chance to meet people worldwide uh, as a correspondent with CNN, I, I just have some, uh, some boundaries and things that I always watch for. And, and the utmost thing that sticks out is the friendliness of people here and how engaging they are and how they really and truly are native Texans. There are, there are places in this state where you can go where it's a little more dicey that way, whether it's been an influence from the east, an influence from the north, an influence from the west. There's a down-home feel here that's unlike very many places that I've been. Yeah, and I think you're you're absolutely right on that. And and obviously, there's a lot of people moving from from all parts of the country to to Central Texas. Well, and I think that's one of the things that yeah. attracts them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and so you we're we're we've, we're kind of becoming this melting pot, if you will. And, yeah, absolutely. And are. I, I think one of the things that makes this area great is we've been able to hold on to uh, the friendliness of Texas. Yep. And and. Uh, and really just bring these people in and, and make them feel like home. No you know, they're home. No doubt. Absolutely. No doubt. Well, if you uh, could describe my caps oh. and, and, you know, in a few words, uh, and, and really specifically, you know, tell us, walk us down the path of what you do for the Round Rock Express as the voice and, and, and all of that. Well, let's see. Um, I am a husband, a father, a grandfather, a son of God. Uh, those are the, even if you went in reverse order, that gets it started and uh, I'm probably one of the most fortunate people you've ever met for the way I've had a chance to walk through life. Um, but the bottom line is what I do for the Express is broadcast every one of their games on radio and they're on the internet and uh, I traded a war correspondent's job for this, and I'm much more mentally healthy. I came out of the dark spiritually, and uh, living in God's light is a whole lot better than the way it was being shot at covering wars. Trust me on that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and obviously, you're passionate about sports and, and uh, baseball. About baseball and, more than, and, than the okay. others. Okay. Okay. And, and so getting to do that, I mean, you know, going to the ballpark, you know, uh, during the season and on a, on a sometimes nightly basis and, and uh, you know, being able to do the play-by-play -play for that and, and, man, what an experience that is. And uh, 
you know, what would you say kind of your, your keys to success has been in doing that? Well, it's, it's the background uh, that, that I was raised in. My dad was friends with um, some reporters and, 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 and baseball broadcasters in Dallas, Fort Worth. Uh, and I just sort of went from there, but the bottom line is it, how, you, how it all fits comes back to the master plan that I think God has for our lives. And I think that, that this sort of worked out in, in my life. I, I, I do find it kind of funny. People ask me all the time, what do you do for a living? Mm -hmm. And I say, I steal money. Yeah. And now some of my bosses wince when they hear me say that. But my, my whole point is, if and, and I say this to my kids, I've said this to my kids, and now I'm saying it to my grandkids, if you can find something to do with your life, uh, where you charge up out of bed every morning, ready to go to work, it's not really work. You really are stealing money. Right. And, right. and it's a blessing to have come down that road. And the, I mean, I could sit here for 30 minutes and describe to you each and every little nuance of the way it all worked out, but it did, and, and I'm thankful for that. Man, that's incredible. And obviously, you know, being as the voice of the Express, and you know, you're reaching thousands, if not millions, of people uh, over yep. the course of a season. And, and so, you know, whether you realize it or not, I mean, you have a, a direct influence in their lives. And 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 I kind of relate that to, <clears throat> excuse me, what I'm doing in real estate is, is that you know, I'm impacting people's lives. I mean, it, it, on a daily basis. Absolutely. And, sure. and typically, you know, I mean, obviously buying a house is one of the largest uh, financial decisions that, you know, yes, that you'll ever yes. make in your life. And so, you know, I don't take that lightly. And, and But you, I guess you just realize the impact you do have on people's lives. And and, and therefore, you know, I, I put God first in, in everything and try to just honor Him in that and, and pray for wisdom there. Um, Same thing. You know, to direct us. Uh, yeah. Same thing, and, and, and I also think that this, to continue that thought just a second, um, it, it, when, when you hear from people who are blind, who listen, who are disabled, who listen, uh, who are, I, I, had a, I had an email from a lady in Reykjavik, Iceland one night. Oh, wow. And I said, what in the world is going on in Reykjavik that would force you to, cause you to tune into the Round Rock Express? And so I thought I was really on, on something great here. And she says, well, nothing, obviously. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so, wow, wow. That sort of brought me back down. Yeah, there. kind of humbled you real quick, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, it did. So I wonder how she ever found the broadcast, though. Who knows? I mean, they're, they're, all of them are easy to find. Yeah. And you, you, there's, you, know, you go to Round Rock Express radio or whatever, and boom, you yeah. there's two or three different places. Wow, so, that's incredible, though. It, just, it, is, it does it show is. you the impact in today's technology, how and you it's changed you know, yeah. from the... 19 now 20 years we're about to celebrate to, to that yeah oh no that's awesome well and that kind of leads me to my next question it, with all the people moving here and of course they just made the announcement that apple's going to expand here even further how about that that's great incredible and and so I, what advice would you give to people moving here what you know what would be the first thing you would want to do here in central texas i would, things you'd take advantage of i would really let me give let me answer that two ways number one is i i would I would tour each one of the communities in this area. Uh, say, I'm not sure where the Apple campus is going to be, but I would tour. I, I would tour Austin, I tour, tour Pflugerville, uh, Leander, Cedar Park, Round Rock, Georgetown. Right. Find out where you comfort, where your comfort level really is here, and and go from there. I, I think that you really have to feel uh, as if you belong in this place before you put money down on a house or anything like that. I, I really do. Oh, absolutely. And, and I've had several clients, you know, that have relocated here from out of state. And, and, and that's one of the things that, that I encourage them to do is let's just take time and we drive, you know, we just get in the car and we drive from area to area and, you know, each of the little suburbs and, and uh, around Austin, you know, we want to go to the downtown area. We sure. want to experience it and just, and just kind of get a feel for for the lifestyle and, and the flow mm -hmm. of, of things uh, in those areas and 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 gosh that's changed over 20 years that I've oh, been man. here so yeah. much I mean think about it when we came here Round Rock was a little tiny village absolutely and now we're at hundred some thousand right yeah close to it well it is crazy I mean I, I moved here in 1999 and I mean it's just exploded obviously sure you know since then and and as I as I travel around and like I'll go to let's just say Leander for example. Well, they they are the fastest 
growing city right now in the United States. You don't believe it, drive up that yeah. tollway and all the way to 36 yeah. and you got it. Absolutely, absolutely. 29 so, it is. Yeah, 29. Just phenomenal growth. Well, it, I, all that said, in, in moving here, it, and people want to know, I mean, the Round Rock Express have been such a really just a central part of, of not only this Round Rock community, but the Central Texas community. Um, Tell us about, you know, the exciting things that are going on in wow. 2019 with the Round Rock Express. Well, first of all, it's year 20, and, and that's, that's going to be a huge celebratory year for this team. Uh, we're back with the Houston Astros after an eight-season run with the Texas Rangers. We were originally Astros, now back. Uh, they have some great young prospects. They're a boatload of uh, things we're going to do to celebrate, and people can go to roundrockexpress.com and find that out. Um, Radio is going to play a huge role in it. There's some new things that are going on inside the ballpark, okay. and that's one of the beautiful things that our relationship with the city of Round Rock has allowed us to do is uh, they, they want that thing to sing, and uh, management has made it sing through the years, and it's you don't have to spend a boatload of money to come to a baseball game with the Round Rock Express. It, it, it really and truly is a true family experience. Um, we've actually had kids uh, who were bat boys for the Round Rock oh, Express wow. who play in the big leagues now. So oh, wow. it's, um, it really is, if it, and, and you don't have to be a baseball fan to enjoy coming out. There's all sorts of ancillary things going on. There's a kid's playground, there's a swimming pool, mm -hmm. uh, a whole bunch of new stuff as well. Just go to roundrockexpress.com and find out. And I, I assume you're still going to do the Friday Night Firework uh, series. Come on, um, yeah, that's absolutely. Good. That's well, a staple of minor league baseball. Yeah, and I, and I think, you know, as having two boys growing up here and, and, and going to the Express games and being Bat Boys and even working out there for the Round Rock Express, uh, you know, we've seen it evolve and grow and just an incredible family experience, as you mentioned. Yeah. Um, and the really cool thing is, is that you can get up close to these professional athletes no in a way that you never will be able to once they go to maybe the major leagues. Well, we're one step away from the big leagues, and yeah. this is a very yeah. important point. Um, I always like to watch World Series if there are teams that we have played. Yeah. Uh, four or five years ago, there were actually 49 guys on the 50-man roster for both okay. who had actually played at Dell Diamond. Oh, wow. That's pretty special. Yeah, it is. And so you walk in, no matter who we're playing, there's a pretty good chance you're going to see them, in, some of these kids, the big leagues for sure, and maybe in the playoffs in the World Series. So it's, people say, well, what, what level is that? It's one step from the big leagues. And we'll have, on our team this year, we'll have seven or eight who have major league time, who spent time in the major leagues. Yeah. So it's, it's really fast baseball. Absolutely, absolutely, and I, I know you know I, I've had season tickets before, and I know there's different packages that, that yep. you can get yep. get and get involved with and memberships. We call them that. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, but tell us, I mean, just moving here, if you're if you want to be a, a casual fan of the Round Rock Express, how do you get involved with that? Uh, go to roundrockexpress.com. Okay, uh, you want to talk about uh, a season membership? Easy, five one two two five five. Ball, B-A-L-L, -L, okay. and ask for a, a, a season ticket sales representative, and there you go, you'll get fixed up. And tell us, where, where can we tune in to hear Mike Caps this coming season? Uh, our flagship uh, radio station is AM 1300 The Zone. It's uh, got a great signal. You can hear them all the way down to North San Antonio and all the way up to Waco. And uh, you can go to roundrockexpress.com to listen live on the internet. So it's it's all out there. And, and we're there all 140 games and yeah. whatever yeah, absolutely. whatever um, uh, postseason play we'll have. And we, we, I don't think we're playing the Astros this year in an exhibition, but we will in the future, and those will be there too. Okay, and just tell us real quick the, the seasonal kickoff on... It, see, it, it kicks off in New Orleans on April the 4th, but here at Dell Diamond on April the 9th. Okay, so okay. and then that runs, runs through uh, early, the season. Early September. Early September. Well, Mike, I... I appreciate you just taking a few minutes just oh, to sit down with me My this pleasure. morning and, and just to, you know introduce people about more about Central Texas and about Round Rock and the Round Rock Express and and so thank you for that. Come to Central Texas, move here, 
yeah. and then come see the Brown Rock Springs. Absolutely, and I just wanna let you guys know that uh, you can see this interview in its entirety on www.seanharden.com. And you can also visit that website if you want to just know, hey, uh, you live here and you want to know the value of your home. Or you're moving here or want to move here and you want to know prices on homes and areas. Or even, Mike, another thing we've done is we've set up, uh, if you want to build a home, you can go to my site and, and you can link to a builder. I don't want to build a home. Yeah. But well, some do. And if you, or if you just, you think, hey, I need plans to build a home. I've, I've got a hot link to one of the, one of the premier architects here in Austin. And you can find that right there on my website. So a lot of exciting things That's going great. on. Good for you. And absolutely. So again, thank you. Anytime. All right.